So really the way that this all started was, I had an idea, a bit of a crazy idea for a wedding, and it was really gonna take the right couple to be able to make this thing happen. So Jeff came to me with this idea and honestly, I was a little bit skeptical. It was very elaborate and there was no blueprint for any of it. I could see what the final image looked like, but I had no idea how it was gonna come together. I said I was on board and he said he'd make some calls to see if it was possible. I hadn't really planned out too many of these details. And so I just had a vision in my head of us standing on a cliff with the most amazing view that I could picture and then I had to get to work and find where is this place? Where, where is that gonna take place? And it had to provide a setting that would be so intimate and so, so unlike anything anyone had ever seen. So what I ended up doing is I met up with the, the pilot and we took his private plane and we actually went flying around to find the perfect spot. Jeff and the pilot found this amazing place kind of just north of Owen Sound and the clearing off to the right there is uh, big enough to land a helicopter and we thought that that might be the spot. It checked all the boxes and it faced west, which was one of my requests as a photographer uh, to make sure that the sun would set in the perfect spot. The idea of eloping in a crazy, beautiful, amazing spot, this is not a unique idea. This is not a new idea that, uh, that I've got, but in this area in particular, it really is. And I think for couples, it hasn't necessarily been an option that they've considered because they didn't think that it was something that was possible or something that was doable or something that could be done in a way that was really memorable. It's really just a time to celebrate their marriage. And it's less about the party and less about the celebration, less about the drinks, less about the dances, less about cutting cake and things like that. And the entire focus then shifts onto, it's two people getting married and saying, I do and I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. Driving up there the day of, it's a little bit cold, very strange for September. Um, when we had picked this date a few months ago, we felt pretty safe, mid-September, normally very warm. But leading up to it, we woke up, it was supposed to be clear, check the weather. It was cold, it was foggy, it was misty, it was gray. We hop in the helicopter, we start flying, and him and I are sitting in the front, and we're on the radio. The couple's in the back, they don't have the headset on. And so I said, what do you think? What's going on here? This weather's not what we expected. And he says, I'm not sure if we can land on the island. I was a little bit heartbroken. The couple didn't know that. And he said, don't worry, we're gonna find an amazing spot. And I had already flown this area. And so I knew that this was the spot. It had to be the place. We kind of go around the bend. We're, we're hugging the coastline a little bit. And then he goes left and it starts to clear up a bit. And he looks at me and says, you know what? We can land, no problem, this will be good. It's not gonna be as clear as we'd hoped, but hopefully the sun comes out. These words are a promise. A promise that despite the challenges and changes that lie ahead, you're gonna be in this thing together. And I hope every day that you wake up, you remind yourself how lucky you are that you get to love this person, that you get to share your life with them. Because what a joy marriage is when we remember that. It's really, it's really beautiful. It's really pretty. It's, uh, it's a nice view. It's not quite as dramatic as I had hoped. And then as the ceremony goes on, and I don't even think I really recognized that this was happening, but as the ceremony was going on, the clouds were just kind of slowly drifting away. The mist was lifting, the fog was lifting. And by the time we finish the ceremony, we look up and the sky is basically clear and the sun lights up the water and we all look out we're like, holy cow, this is crazy. And it turns into like the most beautiful, like unbelievable shot. And totally one of those moments too, as the sun keeps getting lower, the shot, it keeps getting better. And I, every second you're like, there's no way this is getting better than this shot right here. And then somehow it gets better. It lights up a little bit more. It gets a little bit more gold and a little bit more glowing and the look on their face as they were watching the sunset was, was just priceless. It was just an amazing thing and it could not have worked out more perfectly. There's actually a photo that 
that you took that I think is my favorite one and it's maybe not the one that anyone would think and it's actually the moment where she's sharing her vows and he's standing there looking at her holding the flowers behind him and they would, I think that's the most powerful photo for me because it really shows how much these two were just in love and it's that is the most emotional photo I think of the whole day uh, for me. I think it perfectly captures what an elopement should look like. I love that you chose to celebrate your marriage in a way that was special to you and not in a way that you felt like you had to follow tradition or follow what somebody else told you or do something that you didn't really want to do and to say, hey, there are other ways to celebrate your marriage and they chose a really cool way to do it and so I was really thankful that I could be a part of that.